Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Our mission at the garage is to save you guys as much money as we can. That's why we make these absolutely free videos and we teach you how to fix your car for free. Let's go ahead and start on it now. Today's video guys will explain how to find your map sensor. Okay, this one will be for any car pretty much guys. We'll demonstrate on a Hyundai, on a BMW and a Ford right here. We'll explain how to find the map sensor and where it's located because that's a very common problem on cars nowadays. And the map sensor is a very important part of the computer and calculation of uh, telling the car what it needs, air, fuel, all that stuff. So, how you find them now? Okay, we'll start, we'll start with that uh, Hyundai first, okay? You always have to look for the intake, okay? This is your intake of the car, that's where the air will go in the engine. On the back side, you have exhaust. Okay, <clears throat> so on one side you have intake, on one exhaust. It might be switched, okay? Your exhaust might be on the front, intake on the back, depending on the car and the model. Now, you can see, okay, right here on the intake, okay, down there, this is your map sensor, okay? This one, right there. This is, guys, your map sensor. It's very small and usually it has only one bolt holding it. So, if you come to this fold right here and we remove the engine cover. Okay, let me show you. Can you notice the map sensor? Right here on the intake. On a turbo car like this one, you might have two map sensors. One on the bottom pipe for intercooler one here. Uh, really depends on the model again, but for non-turbo car you have only one on the intake. So you can see only one bolt holding it again. So pretty, pretty simple. Now you get to the BMW and you're about to freak out because you don't see anything like that. Yep, that's why people will be a little bit uh, scared to work on those things, but they're pretty easy to be honest with you. Now, if you look towards the back, Okay, on the intake, this is where your in, uh, where your map sensor is again, right there. You can see that's the map sensor. Again, it has only one bolt holding it there. Uh, on the BMW, in order to replace it, you have to disassemble quite a few things here to get to it. It takes only about 10 minutes, but still you have to do quite a bit of disassembly. So, quick video guys to show you how to find your map sensor. Thank Hopefully guys the video was helpful and we were able to save you money. We guys have more than 19,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels. Check them out. We have videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.